All right, it says we are live. Good evening, everyone. Hello. Happy New York Beauty Tuesday. How's everybody <laughs> doing? I hope you all are feeling good out there. Hi, Jean. Good evening. Oh, I realized Hello. my uh, computer screen has top chat on, not all chat. It says we are live. Oh. Good evening. Oh. <laughs> Happy New York Beauty Tuesday. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I muted it. Good to hear us in stereo. In stereo, right? I was trying to make sure I could see the chat and because I don't have my phone up. There we go. All right. Sorry. <laughs> no, all good. Hi, Ingrid and Terry. Hi. Yeah. I'm to happy everybody. to be back again for a New York Beauty. Hope everyone's having a good beginning of the week. Yeah. Hi, Del Marie. Uh, just a reminder, tonight we're working on Bandicoot, which is actually block seven of the 16. I was going to say 14. I don't know why, but uh, seven of the 16 that we're going to be putting together. Yeah. Uh, and this one is a fun one. Um, Stephanie was telling me, sorry, I'm, I like brain shut off there for a second. No, that's Stephanie, okay. <laughs> Stephanie was saying before we went live that if you have the digital book, you might have had a problem finding the J arc. Um, so if you haven't joined the Facebook group, I, I suggest definitely doing that. If you don't have Facebook and you don't want to do that, um, let me know and I will send it to you um, for you to, to, to print it out because I don't know why it's not in the digital book. You would yeah. have to like print off so like the individual eight and a half by 11 pages of the digital book, it's in the the huge printout portion of the book. That's a pain in the took us though. So everybody yeah. just let me know. My emails should be in the description. If it's not in the description of this one, my email's there on my YouTube page. So definitely let me know and I will, I'll get it to you so that we can make sure that you can finish this block that that j arc is important because it's, it's in a couple of of blocks so yeah i want to make sure everybody gets that hi tangle zex and annette and elsa hello hey, everybody. so shannon's talking about the bandicoot here yeah. and the one that's green that's the arc that we're talking about so i have the book and i also have the pdf and I thought I was going crazy because I couldn't find pattern J arc. So I made my husband look and he couldn't find it too. And he's like, it just doesn't exist. Yeah. <laughs> so if you have the PDF, like Shannon was saying, make sure you email her because she's got it. Because you'll drive yourself nuts looking for it. And it yeah. is on the big, huge sheet that was like in the back of this book. If you're copying from that. And they also have that in the PDF, but there's no way to get the size or know that you have it printed the right size. Right. That's the problem. Because my husband's like, well, I can print it for you. And he did. He's like, but I don't know if this is the right size because it doesn't include that little inch marker box. So, yeah. <laughs> so, kind of a pain in the tush. Yep. <laughs> but um, we'll get you set up if you if you don't have that. Uh, but before we get started, Stephanie, is there anything you would like to shout out about what you've got going on this week? Oh, let me think. I have no idea what I've gone on this week. <laughs> Did you? Is that Calliope all finished? Do I see like binding on it? Wowzers! Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna put up a video on that after we're done here. I have to put it all together, but I took a little video of myself quilting it, and then you know all that. So it's dunsies. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm gonna spotlight you just for a second so that oh, we no, can no. see. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. I'll take it off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah, it's done. I was like, no, no. <laughs> asses on today and everything. So, um, <laughs> so that's done. So I'm gonna put up the the video for that. Um, so pretty. Okay, live and finish it live. But I just didn't have the capacity with everything that's going on with my kids and everything like that. So I never had a time where I could sit down and they were quiet and all that stuff. So I just kind of filmed myself finishing it up and I filmed a little bit of the quilting nice and so i'll put that all together and then i'll show you guys the finished video and some closer up pictures of it but yeah it's all done so um okay. that's finished so this oh my gosh tomorrow oh, i've totally lost what day it is it's tuesday tuesday yes <laughs> i just need to go to bed 
Tomorrow is the so day with Stephen and I. Let me spit that out correctly. Um, and that is 9 a.m. Eastern time to 4 p.m. Eastern time. If you've been to the so day before, come on back. If you haven't been, we'd love to have you. It's a free um, so day on Zoom. It's not live. Um, we ask that you come in on camera so we know who you are, but you can shut it off after that. Um, but it's not recorded or anything like that. It doesn't get put on YouTube. We just get together for a day and so. And I'm really looking forward to it tomorrow because I have a lot of stuff I need to get done. So, yay. A whole day to sit and so is what I need. Um, nice. Yeah. And then this Saturday on my channel, we're going to be making Easter eggs. So cute. Little Easter egg mug rugs for your Easter table. So I'm really excited about that. Um, several of you have asked a schedule because we always have so many things going on both Shannon and I, and we're doing a lot of stuff together and both of us are doing other things on our channel as well besides what we're doing together. So we have both now put up a schedule. Mine's in my community tab and I think Shannon's is in the same spot yep. on YouTube. And I also posted mine in the Together We Sew Facebook group. Did you put yours in there as well? No, I didn't. I did put it on my Facebook and Instagram, but no, I, I'll do that. I'll do that tonight. Okay, perfect. So if you guys are looking for a schedule of what we're doing, um, that they're there. So you can see like what's coming up on the next few Saturdays with Steph and then Shannon's like brunch, what she's got coming up. And I'm gonna let her tell you what she's got coming up this Sunday because I'm super excited for it. <laughs> <laughs> cool, yeah. So um, this Sunday is kicking off the Sunday series for Rock Candy, which if you don't already know, silly person, is Stephanie's, one of the two newest releases of Stephanie's patterns. So Rock Candy is like the more, the, the beginner friendly, more beginner friendly, uh, mm -hmm. the the Calm, calm Waters, right? Yes, no, yeah. Calm Waters yeah. is the intermediate, yeah. Is the intermediate one. So we're, we're, we're doing Rock Candy, the beginner friendly one on my channel for at least three Sundays. Uh, the way I've broken it out. So if you want to join us, uh, definitely head over to Stephanie's uh, Etsy. There we go. That's the word I was looking for to pick <laughs> up the pattern. Ingrid, if you wouldn't mind putting Stephanie's Etsy in there for Rock Candy, I would really appreciate that. Um, although there is the chance that Ingrid might be getting much George love right now. So yeah, <laughs> be patient. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we're starting this Sunday. So the goal is before this Sunday, 11 a.m. Eastern, have, if you're a starcher and an ironer, uh, definitely do your starching and ironing and then have all of your pieces pre-cut. Oh, thank you, Stephanie. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, have your pieces pre-cut. Then Sunday, we're going to put the, the little colorful nine patches together. So all the color like uh, the teals and the yellows and the orange, so pretty. Uh, well, the, at least that's what I'm doing. So I'm doing it kind of in a rainbow as well, but I'm using uh, Libs Elliott's phosphorus or phosphor, Ooh, phosphor, not phosphor. Not wait to see that with those phosphor. <laughs> Del Marie is such an amazing human being and sent me the uh, fat quarters for the the, the the third yard that I needed for four of those. Thank you nice. so much, Bree. You're so fantastic. Uh, uh, so have all of that ready to go. If nothing else, at least have for the nine patches, have that stuff starched and cut and ready to go because that's what we're going to hit the ground and run with on Sunday. Then the following Sunday is going to be whatever fabrics you choose for the, um, not the half square triangles, the quarter square triangles. We're going to do that the following Sunday and we're going to get those guys finished up. And then the third Sunday, we'll put all of them together. Now, I'm not going to, I wasn't um, going to show on the Sundays everybody's projects and everything, but it still stands just like with uh, the New York Beauties and everything. Anything that you want to send or you want to put in the Together We Sew Facebook, or if you want to send me your finished ones, I would love to put together another video like I did for the two color quilt challenge and yeah. show off everybody's completed top. It doesn't have to be quilted and all that kind of stuff. But if you'd like to show off your completed top, please, please, please feel free to send it to me. I would love to do that again. That was so much fun with the two color quilt and challenge. And I want to see them. It's, <laughs> there's nothing more fun as a pattern designer than to see what people do with your pattern. 
Yeah. So I love when people like um, a quilt I did last summer for one of my retreats, seeing it in like 15 different colorways was so amazing. And yes. I can't wait to see what pattern or what fabrics you guys use for rock candy. So, yeah. So that yeah. is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, and that's three Sundays uh, at least to get the, the, the top finished. Uh, and then I will probably, as we get, you know, closer to that, I'll probably give you a time frame on when I want to, you know, I will definitely, I'll have to give you a time frame on when I'll want to see your photos so that I can get that video uh, all put together of everybody's awesome projects. So really excited. looking forward to that. That's going to be so much fun. Ah, uh, it's going to be fun for me. I'm so um, honored that you wanted to do that on your channel because I just oh. can't wait. <laughs> I'm so I jumped at the chance so exciting to be able to do that it's so cute I love it so much I'm excited to do it in the the wild electric colors of phosphor oh, so it's gonna be <laughs> awesome in that yeah it's gonna be a lot of fun okay I'm gonna say hi to everybody hi Janice and Melissa hi Map Geek hi Shelly Hi, Landa. If I missed you, I'm so sorry. I apologize, but I'm so excited that you're here. It is New York Beauty Tuesday night. We're working on Bandicoot. Uh, I, you know, I worked so hard ahead of time and got this arc finished already. Mm -hmm. um, I put in a lot of sweat and tears into this guy. <laughs> so. <laughs> this one is the template J. This is the one that's um, missing from that digital uh, the eight yeah. and a half by 11, like regular pieces to, to print out. Um, but it, so it's, it's just a solid piece of fabric, um, for that one. So that is all done, which is very exciting to have something that nice and easy to do. <laughs> yeah. And I apologize for not having the overhead camera tonight. It just, it wasn't, it wasn't playing with zoom tonight for some reason, Facebook oh. and Instagram had issues today. Tonight, my phone was not, it, it was not communicating. Like, it, it would not contact Zoom for some reason. No yeah. clue. But it's an old iPhone that I use for the overhead, so it, oh, it could okay. be a thing. Yeah. Gotcha. So did anybody else panic when you couldn't get into Facebook today? I thought my, I thought I'd been hacked. Me too. Mary I was Ann like, shoot, us. I've gone all this time and my Facebook hasn't been hacked and now I get hacked. Yeah. <laughs> immediately thought that because I was trying to change the password I was like what is happening I know me too <laughs> like oh no I'm just I'm just you know a budding entrepreneur and now I'm gonna have some some crazy smutty thing steal my stuff and start well putting, that's like, what I was afraid of I'm like okay once I get the password reset and I get on here there's gonna be all this junk all over my stuff <laughs> <I'm> so scared <laughs> <laughs> and here like I reset the password and it still it wouldn't take it and I was like okay something else is going on yeah so then I looked online and it said Facebook was down like everywhere I was like oh okay yeah thank goodness <laughs> <laughs> that I'll accept yep yeah <laughs> Hi, mm. yep that I will accept yep oh thanks Ingrid for the 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 shirts and merch and stuff Yay! yes thank you No, I'm pretty sure it's just, it's an old phone. It probably needs like a security update that it just hasn't run or whatever. They get uh, weird. Yeah. We'll get it all. Oh, where'd my little postcard go? I took it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear. Sadie's over there snoring up a storm. Sadie is my 100-pound <laughs> Rottweiler, Mastiff, Labrador, all the things. Cannot hear it, but that's really funny. <laughs> She's so funny. Like an old man. She's awesome. I love her so much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was more than Facebook, wasn't it? Sintagel says, yeah, it was um, all the meta stuff. So yeah, um, Instagram and Instagram and Facebook were all down. I'm not on X, formerly Twitter, and I wasn't really that concerned about Instagram, but when Facebook came up and I couldn't get into anything and it asked me to like 
reset my password. I was like, oh no, I got hacked. I was really nervous. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so. Yeah. No telling what kind of craziness would have been on there. Right. Right. Oh, but thanks, they Del Marie. I I his name's Arnie, and I love him so very much. He's, <laughs> he's the most steadfast man I have in my life, besides my son. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Am I bothering you by laughing, Glock? No, please don't jump up. No, you're going to oh. do it anyway. <laughs> He's going to do it anyway. It's like, well, if you're going to talk to me, <laughs> I'm going to come on up. You're laughing and having a good time. I need to be a part of this. Right. Oh, it's camera time. Okay, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> if you are not working on New York Beauties out there, what is everybody else working on tonight? Yeah. Oh, you have an English Mastiff, Elsa. Yes. So Sadie's mom was. Oh, I don't remember. Uh, lab and some some kind of Mastiff mix. I don't remember now. Gosh, that was twelve years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, and her dad was a, a like a full Rottweiler. Um. She is the most laid back. She is such, <laughs> such a couch potato. It's the best thing ever. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, thank you, Delmarie. She said she just purchased Calm Waters. Yay. Yeah. That's a gorgeous one. I definitely want to do that one too, but I don't, I don't know that I would necessarily subject myself to live television on something <laughs> actually i probably will work on that one on sunday while you're doing rock candy oh that's nice yeah because i still need to finish mine yeah i'm really excited about how those those nine patches of just awesome 80s neon color yeah <laughs> It's gonna look it's gonna look so cool hi jackie good to see you hi jackie joanna's here i didn't see her earlier hi joanna Helps to turn your machine on after you're giving it all kinds of <laughs> kudos. Gotta have Never it on. Done that. <laughs> uh, Jean, Captain Sister said, just ordered and downloaded Rock Candy. Oh, thank you. Excellent. We're gonna have so much fun. That's gonna be such a blast. Oh, I can't wait to see what you guys picked for your fabric. And I will have rock candy hanging behind me on Sunday so you guys can see it. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Uh, Melissa said, I just finished reconstructing the blocks that I had to deconstruct for winter blues. Yeah. I remember her saying she had to deconstruct them. I'm glad you got them back together. I felt the pain of having to deconstruct and put back together. Um, Jackie said, anyone else having trouble with Facebook? It's been down all day. It's been back for me for several hours. I know it's like they said it's rolling back out. Yeah. So if you haven't gotten it um, back yet, I would just keep checking and like you also might want to like clear your cookies mm -hmm. and like reload it because it just could be that too. 
Yeah, I, I, I thought I, it was on my phone. Yeah. I deleted it and put it back on. Yeah, yeah. Um, Jean, Captain Stitcher said, I have an idea in mind, so we'll see if it works with rock candy. Nice. Ooh, fun. So excited. Oh, I will say, shameless plug here, um, <laughs> if you haven't already or didn't know, Stephanie and I are hosting our second virtual retreat, which oh, yeah. is not until June 23rd, so you, you've got time to decide if you want to spend the time with us or not. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, we are going to do a beach bum retreat, and the, the two patterns that we are working together uh, to get ready for you guys. They work They work together for a fun summer uh, of hanging with family at, at the beach or picnics and things. So if you, if you are looking for something fun to do on a Sunday afternoon in June, or all, all day in June, mm -hmm. that is definitely something we'd love to see you guys at. Yeah, love to have you. I, for one, had a really good time with our first one. It was- Oh, I did too. It was a, a blast. wonderful time. Yeah. Had so much fun with everybody. Yeah. Ingrid said she needs to go shopping to prepare for rock candy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> shopping for it is fun. Yes. And all the fabrics. So a lot of people have been talking this week about Joanne Fabrics because they're filing Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Yeah. That's been like all over everything. I've seen it. So it should be interesting to see what comes of that. Yeah. Like what, what does that really mean? Because I, well, I just don't know enough about, you know, bankruptcy court or anything, but I know some companies have filed bankruptcy and, you know, kept on. Yeah. Well, the type that they're filing 11 is to try to reorganize the debt so they can keep on. But that also means like getting rid of like poor performing stores and stuff like that. So I think so, we're going to yeah. see more of them close. Not that I, I don't really go to Joanne's very often. There's not one like super close to me. And um, just every once in a while, like the last time I was in there, Actually, I went looking for something for cross stitch and I couldn't find it. They didn't have it. So I went to the other one to Hobby Lobby and they had it. So yeah, ours just doesn't, ours probably needs to be one of the ones that closes, the one that's closest to me. They just don't I, have stock of anything. Yeah, that's well, yeah. If they're already not, not doing well, ours in town is, is pretty popular. They still do the like the Wilton cake decorating classes and stuff. Oh, nice. Nice. Um, yeah. So it, it's a fun one. I, I hope that one stays. Um, it's got like, we don't have a Michaels anymore. Uh, no, we don't have an AC Moore anymore. Uh, our Michaels is way too overpriced. So mm -hmm. yeah. Um, the, like the knitting and cake decorating and, the kids crafts things are really good over at Joanne's. So, Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. We have a Michael's right here actually in my town, but it, it's like you said, it's kind of higher price. So yeah, I don't go there too often unless I need something really specific. Um, Like I just got some hard stock from there. Oh yeah. So that I didn't want to drive the half hour to the Joanne's for. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, well, I'll spend more in gas than I would the savings. So and right, I don't, yeah. you know, Joanne's would have it because they've had no stock of anything lately. So yeah, they might, they might be getting ready for that consolidation. Yeah, that could be, that could be why they're low. Um, Jean said, I think I'll have no problem shopping my stash for rock candy. That's awesome. Always and Ingrid nice. said she'll be there wearing her beach hat. Nice. <laughs> Somebody mentioned wearing bathing suits. You all can if you want to. 
I will not be because if I do, you'll never come back to another one. I'll scare you. <laughs> um, Terry said she had fun. She's looking forward to the next one. Awesome. Love that. Tangled Zest said, I thought most crafty stuff has done well the last four years or so. So, no. Fabric has done really well. Um, because everybody bought fabric for masks. And then yeah. they had all this leftover fabric and a lot of people started quilting. Right? So, quilting has done really well. But crafting in general has not because it was hard to access during the pandemic. And now that it's sort of over-ish... Um, people have gone back to work. So the, all the free time they had to do things during the lockdown is now they don't have that free time. So yeah, when fabric sales are way down for quilt shops, for big box everywhere, um, fabric sales are down, machine sales are down, everything's, and plus everything's gotten so much more expensive. So people are just being a lot more conservative with what they buy. So um Quilt shops in general aren't doing well. Um, so if you have a small quilt shop by you that you love, make sure you support them because if you don't, they'll go out of business. Yeah. Um, but yeah. And Joanne's has gotten really expensive, their fabric, almost to quilt shop prices and not quilt shop quality most of the time. So that's hurting them too as far as the fabric part of it. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Arduins is pitiful. Half of the lights don't work and they can't get them fixed due to budget cuts in Melissa. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Ours is not like yours, Melissa. Ours is in, it's actually not that old of one that wants like a half hour for me. It's in good shape. It just doesn't have any stock when I go there looking for a specific thing. Like I was looking for a specific cross stitch needle size. They didn't have any. Oh, they had no cross stitch needles. They had cross stitch aisle. Yeah. And they had like the floss, but they really didn't have any cross stitch books because I was looking for a cross stitch book and they didn't have any hoops. They only had like a teeny tiny ones and they didn't have any needles in stock. And I was like, wow. What? <laughs> so um, anyway, so it, and then like when you do go there, there's nobody to help you. One time yeah. I went looking for um, the ironing board fabric that you put underneath your ironing pad, like the mm -hmm. reflective. And I couldn't find it. It was not in the spot that it used to be in. And I walked around the store and walked around the store and couldn't find anybody to help me. Well, here come to find out, they had two people working, the manager who was in the back on their break, and then one other person who was not only manning the fabric thing, but the cashier. So oh man, nobody to help me. So that, that was really frustrating. And it's not the store's fault, obviously. Joanne's in general isn't giving them the budget to have more people right um but it's really hard like okay what I'll do with that why why deal with that frustration when I can just order from home but then I feel bad order, ordering from home because I'm not supporting local businesses but if they don't have what I need or I can't find it then I have to order it so yeah yeah it's a 22 yeah it is Landa said, I use Joanne's only for last resort, but not for fabric. Hobby Lobby is across the street. Jeannie says, hi. Hi, Jeannie. Hi, Jeannie. Um, Jean said, always support your local quilt shop or they will be gone and then you'll be sad. Yep. We had two by us that um, one was two minutes down the street from me. And unfortunately, that lady did get COVID and passed away. So that one closed. Uh, oh, her God. family tried to keep it open, but they really didn't have their heart in it. So they didn't really bother. Um, so it closed. And then we had one just about 10 minutes south of me that the lady just wanted to retire. It was nothing to do with COVID. Um, it was after COVID actually closed. And so there's not a quilt shop close to me. The closest one, besides like the big box stores like Joanne's and Hobby Lobby, the closest actual quilt shop is over an hour away. So Oh, yeah. Definitely support your local quilt shops if they're important to you. Um, Tago Zest said, I do like my co local quilt shop. I should plan a trip, maybe tomorrow. That'd be awesome. There you go. I know they'd love to see you. Mm -hmm. uh, Terry said, I just went into Joanne's to get an ironing board cover to make a small portable ironing board like you guys made. Oh, very cool. They're so cute. Uh, we had so much fun making those at the retreat, remember? Yes, we, yeah. we all just 
ran our mouth. <laughs> yeah. We talked so much. It was so fun. I know. Landa said, our Joanne's doesn't carry iron fabric. Oh, that's too bad. Tangled Zest said, have you ever been tempted to cut your own fabric at the store? Yes. <laughs> Actually, there's been a couple of times when I stood there and stood there and stood there and waited for somebody because I needed something. And they were busy and it wasn't their fault. Like I said, I get that they're understaffed because of corporate. That's all they give them a budget for. But I was like, looking around going, if I could just find that little scanny wand thing and knew how to operate it, I could cut this fabric myself. <laughs> <laughs> and then they come over to cut it and the way they cut it, I was like, oh, don't cut it that way. And like, so I was like, can I just, can I just cut it? <laughs> but no, I can't do that. <laughs> no, they frown upon that. Yeah. I do really feel bad for the workers because it's just, they just don't give them any help. Yeah. But I do hope they survive, Joanne's just, I don't use them that much, but I know a lot of people do and need to because they can't afford quilt shop stuff. Um, so that would be sad. But the other sad thing is, is Joanne's is actually an Ohio company. They're based in Hudson, Ohio, and they employ a lot of people here. So it would be really hard to see them close because that would be a lot of people that would be unemployed. So, yeah, that's, that's the really hard part. Yeah. Ohio doesn't need any more unemployed people. We had a lot when all the car places went out because we had big Fords and big GM plants here and they all like moved to like Mexico and overseas and stuff. So yeah, that was thousands and thousands of Ohioans without jobs. So let's hope that Joanne's doesn't have to do that. Yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, Melissa said the same thing, especially after watching them cut mine. <laughs> right? That's what I was saying. I was like, uh, can I just cut that? <laughs> um, let, me, let me just help you out real fast. <laughs> right? Melissa said she needs to make a small ironing board. Oh, they're so much fun. So um, easy. So, so cute. easy. So easy. Yeah. Landa said my favorite local quilt shop is an hour and a half away. Oof. Yep. That's why I like going to Millersburg where we're going next month for the retreat because we get to shop at a bunch of cool shops. Holy cow, yeah. It, it's like the Mecca. <laughs> right. It's in Amish country here in Ohio and there's like a dozen quilt shops. So within a 10 mile radius. So it's it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Guacamole. <laughs> Who are you yelling at? It is not dinner time. You can stuff it, cat. It's not time. <laughs> you're on camera, no, mom. It's always dinner time when you're on camera. <laughs> <laughs> hello. Mm -hmm. Look up in the camera. So, say hello to your adoring fans. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Cutie pie. Hi, baby. Yes. Um, Melissa said, I want to turn a wooden TV tray into an ironing board. I know a lot of people have done that. That's a good idea. That's very cool. A lot of people take those to retreats. I think that's really clever. All right, if you're going to lay down, lay down, but just don't put your tail where the knife is going to be. <laughs> Maybe a bobtail cat. I'm not comfortable enough for you. Oh, you got me all discombobulated. Yeah, <laughs> I just cut the wrong thing. Oops. Uh -oh. <laughs> Oops. See, even I even I make silly, silly mistakes still. I cut the fabric I just put on and I flipped it over. I cut it. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> whoops. Well, you have a little distraction there. I do indeed. 
Yeah, that's usually when I do something like that. Like Henry will be down here and he loves to be involved. But I'm just like, okay, you need to move your fingers right now so I don't cut them. <laughs> Yes. And then I'm so worried that I, he's going to put him back and I'm going to cut him that I don't pay attention and I do something wrong. <laughs> yep. But I would rather cut a fabric wrong than cut his fingers, so. Yes, exactly. Not trying to take you to an emergency vet tonight for having your tail cut off. Right? <laughs> <laughs> then he'll need, he'll need a new name, like Stubby or something. <laughs> 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 oh, poor little man. So you have your vlog coming out on Thursday. What else you got going on this week? Uh... Nothing, nothing really during the week. Um, Saturday, we're taking a group, uh, like, like really embarrassing family photo photos for the improv troupe. Oh, <laughs> fun! <laughs> we're all gonna dress up. We haven't decided what what our theme is going to be yet, but I am for sure going to be uh, '80s crimping my hair. <laughs> uh, so I actually have That's to go. Great find hairspray because i haven't used hairspray since i was in ninth grade so right. uh, i gotta go find some hairspray it has to be to, aquanet right uh, to lacquer my hair up <laughs> <laughs> i don't even know if they still make that brand but <laughs> i don't know <laughs> it just reminds me of my uh, and I'm, I'm still friends with my uh, the my best friend from well we met it was still called junior high uh, we were 12 years old and we had dinner. Her mom made us uh, our homecoming dinner for our ninth grade uh, homecoming. And uh -huh. she said she told my parents it was the funniest thing in the world because she was bringing the food out. And all four of us, the two girls and the two boys, our hair was just shining like old time movie aura because of all the <laughs> hair that was around us. Yes. <laughs> and the candle light and everything. Uh, she said yeah. it was the funniest thing in the world. And she said she was nervous that we might set ourselves on fire because of yeah. how much product was in our hair. I think it's hilarious that you're talking about this today because we literally were just having this conversation with Sarah today. Oh, really? About hairspray. Heath was talking about something with his old school because they just tore down his old high school. Oh, wow. Which he's very sad about. But yeah. Um, we're talking about hairspray and how you could take the Aquanet can with a lighter and like turn it into a torch. Yes. And she's like, why would you need hairspray? That's that powerful. And I said, well, because we used to tease our hair up like this, <laughs> spray it on the back and then spray it on the front to keep it up really high. And I said, so you Walk needed, of like, seagulls. You Hello. Right. So we needed like <laughs> super powerful hairspray. And she's like, what is wrong with you guys? <laughs> So it's funny that you're talking about this today because we just had this conversation with her a couple hours ago. That's and I incredible. said to Keith, I said, I wonder if they still make Aquanet. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to find out. I'm excited. Matt Peek said, I admit to having a perm in the 80s. Girl, we all did. I did too. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. And the first one I ever got, I got down in Tennessee at my mama's salon that she went to. Oh, so yeah. it was it was very Steel Magnolias. It was hysterical. Oh, that's adorable though. I love that scene in Steel Magnolias where they're all at the hairdresser. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So I love was, that movie period. It's just so sweet. It, it was definitely very, very much that. And it was very cool. That's fun. Uh, Matt Geek said, y'all taking me back to walking in the girls' bathroom in high school in the fog of hairspray. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> walking here like... <laughs> yes. Yep. <laughs> it's no wonder what we were doing horrible things to the ozone. <laughs> right. 
I'm pretty sure my ninth grade class was responsible for 48% of that. <laughs> I was going to say, we're lucky that we can even like breathe, that our lungs aren't like permanently <laughs> hairsprayed stuck together on the inside. <laughs> Ridiculous. Right. <laughs> they hairspray. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Still though, best pre-social media, pre-everybody having a camera in their hands, best time. Yep. He said it best the other day. He was talking, he was like, I was glad, I'm glad we grew up in the 70s and 80s. He's like, because we didn't have cameras. We could be really stupid and nobody would know. Nobody has <laughs> any evidence. There's no evidence. It's like there was no evidence. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, it's so true too. <laughs> um, <laughs> Melissa said I was not a hairspray person, but my sister sure was. <laughs> uh, Delmarie said Aquanet, yes, stiff as a board. Yup. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah, defying all the laws of physics. Yup. Melissa said, um, between aerosol deodorant and hairspray in the bathroom after gym, right? <laughs> yes. Yep. Oh, those Hi, are the Jennifer days. from Brisbane. Good to see you. Hello. Oh, she said, finally caught up with the blocks. Retreat on weekend with Filippo was fun, and we did great with our blocks. We'll post when I get home. Awesome. awesome. She told me that. She helped you guys with your blocks, so that's fun. I love that so much. Yeah. And she sent me pictures of all the fluffy kangaroos with the baby. Right? Oh, it was so cute. Like right outside the window. I was yes. jealous. <laughs> she said they were underneath like the, the porch of the place at one point and they heard them fighting under there and they were like, yeah. what is going on? And they realized it was the kangaroos. I was like, <laughs> that's hilarious. Boys being boys. <laughs> yeah. That's right, Melissa. She said, no video means it never happened. <laughs> exactly. Yep. <laughs> Tangle Zest says, I don't remember doing stupid things. Yeah. Not <laughs> us. No, we never did anything stupid, no. <laughs> uh, nothing I'll admit in front of my children, at least. <laughs> right. Okay, so yeah, we're doing uh, the silly family photos of which I will I will have a hair helmet of air, of hairspray, <laughs> and then uh, the kids are treating me to an awesome dinner for my birthday. So my birthday month celebration continues. <laughs> we're just continuing. That's yep. awesome. Oh, Joanna said she looked it up and Aquanet is sold online at Walmart. Super extra hold. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Well, we have to get some. <laughs> I'm going to have to. Yeah, that's going to have to be a thing. Yep. Yep. I'm going to have to get some just to show my daughter. <laughs> yep. Did, you're, did you ever. So for one of my homecomings or prompt, one of those homecoming probably. My mom ironed my hair because we didn't have flat irons. No. She actually ironed my hair. Oh, my hair when I was younger was really, like now I don't know why. It's like changed in the last few years where it's got this like little bit of, I don't know if you guys can see this because I didn't like straight, I didn't dry my hair today. I just let it dry naturally. So it's got just it's like got a, a little tiny wave to wave. it. Yeah. Um, but it never had that until a couple of years ago. So I'm not sure where, why I got that all of a sudden, but um. My hair was very stick straight, very stick straight when I was a kid, except when it was permed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that. so, no, she never ironed it. She would always try to curl it and she would get so frustrated because my hair, unless you sprayed it with a can of aqua net, it would not stay curled. Like you'd curl yeah. it and like 10 minutes later, you know, no matter how long she kept the heat on it and how still I, the curls just fell right out. It was the weirdest thing. Yeah, my hair has definitely changed because now it's got this wave in it, and now I can actually curl it, and the curls will stay. So I don't yeah. know, but so no, she never tried to iron it. She's always trying to curl it. <laughs> <sighs> but I know people who did that, yeah, for sure, because that we didn't have the flat irons back then. We didn't have it, yeah. 
So I just remember having all of that sitting still for all of that and having the worst neck pain. <laughs> mm, I would be afraid I'd get burned. <laughs> <laughs> You need some just for props, said Melissa, the Aquanet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll bring it to the thing. Yep. <laughs> That's awesome. You need some like neon clothes and jelly um, wrist, the, the, what are those? The jelly bracelets. And so we're each yeah. kind of doing our own spin on it. And I'm going for 80s power suits with like oh, the really okay. big, with the shoulder pads, the big shoulder pads, <laughs> like very Sigourney Weaver in, now I can't remember the name of that movie, but, but yeah, like huge, like I'm, I am contemplating actually sewing in six pairs of shoulder pads just for the, <laughs> the overdoing it of it. Yes. Uh, yeah. So I'm going for, I'm going for that power, power businesswoman that look. One. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's going to be embarrassing as all heck, but, but worth it. Very cool. They're going to be our, our like promo pictures for this season. Yeah. Um, Math Geek said, I've heard of that, Shannon. I always wanted curly hair. Stephanie just said, stick straight, which I was just trying to type. Yeah. Me too, said Stephanie. Me too, Stephanie and Math Geek, all straight, said Delmarie. Yep. Yeah. Working girl. Yes, there we go. That Working was girl. Mm. Hi, Philippa. Hi, Philippa. Good to see you. Yes, Lori, working girl. Yep. That's what I said. <laughs> Delmarie said, Shannon, you have a lot of batting. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. That could work. <laughs> that is very true. Gosh, I cannot wait. It's going to be so ridiculous. Yeah, it's going to be fun, though. So fun. So it's it's that or we're going to do blue jeans and a white polo and the sweat, the tied sweater thing. Very Biff, Buffy and, you know, like that. Yep. Uh, I will still very, have my very hair. Very preppy. Yeah. Crimps. <laughs> <laughs> fun, fun, fun. We're dorks. I think it's hilarious. I think it's going to be great. Matthew wants to know, Shannon, are you going to have a zipper pole or lightning bolt earrings? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hadn't thought about that. I did think about um, pulling out and maybe like going for like a, a school kid thing and having like a rainbow bright or a strawberry shortcake oh, lunchbox or something. Yes. I have a hoodie with rain with a strawberry shortcake on it. That's like the original strawberry shortcake. You know, they redesigned yes. them all. Yeah. Yeah. Good times. Summary said, I like the working girl best. Yeah, I think that's going <laughs> to be cool. <laughs> oh, working girl. That was Meg Ryan. To Wait, no. Yes, Meg Ryan? Oh, gosh. I can't remember. I haven't seen that movie in forever. That wasn't Michelle Pfeiffer. That was definitely Meg Ryan. Right? Yeah. Right. There's the inner arc. Ooh, very pretty. Ooh. Love it. Fun. goes on this one yeah okay oh melanie griffith 
Melanie Griffith. There we go. Okay. Sigourney Weaver and Melanie Griffith. Yeah. Gosh, I haven't seen that in forever. I know. I was like, oh, now I need to watch that. <laughs> I'm sure okay, they would love you? to. Oh, sorry. sorry go ahead. No, go ahead. I was just going to say, I'm sure they'd love to hear it, but Meg Ryan, Melanie Griffith, and the other one I just said. Sigourney Weaver. No, 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 no. Uh, Michelle Pfeiffer. All the same oh, woman to me. Oh, <laughs> all the same woman. Well, they're all from that same time. Yeah. Period, so, <laughs> yeah. All the same generic white woman, blondish. <laughs> yeah. So, did you like the original Ghostbusters movies that came out in the 80s? Uh, yes. Okay. So, I haven't watched any of the new ones in protest because. Like, no, they're not the <laughs> Ghostbusters. Yeah. I just saw the other day an, an ad for a new Ghostbusters movie that's coming out that's going to have the original characters. It has the real, yeah, it has the OG folks in it. And well, I was I, like, I, what? Yeah, <laughs> I haven't seen the ones with Paul Rudd in it. I yeah. love Paul Rudd. I just, I haven't seen them. I'm not really a big movie watcher. Yeah. Like, I, I watch... I have a set list of movies that I watch over and over and over and over and over and over again. Oh, Unless okay, it's a yeah. horror movie. I will watch cool. a horror movie. But, uh, I don't watch horror movies because I get scared. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't, I don't really watch too many new ones. But, but Paul, I do enjoy Paul Rudd. So mm -hmm. I feel like I do need to see the ones he's in. Well, I've heard what's not good. to enjoy with him. I mean, he's so so cute so, so funny cute. yeah apparently really nice actually in life which never i've happened. heard that which makes me happy because i don't yeah. like when i hear about people that i like and then they're not nice in real life yeah yeah i feel like that's so rare like i i liked emily blunt until like that one comment she made yeah i was like oh come on like i liked you and now i can't <laughs> just just shh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but he's supposedly like super duper nice. Yeah. Now the one I used to watch who is no longer with us, um, anything he was in I would watch was Sean Connery. Oh yeah. I loved him so much. He was also problematic, though. He, he was not. He was not physically kind to his wife, and and spoke oh. in several uh, interviews about sometimes a woman just needs to get smacked. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know that. <laughs> oh. I'm like, oh dear. Well, oh, that makes me sad. Oh. <laughs> well, alrighty then. <laughs> <laughs> man these people they make us love them and then they do something stupid that's right joan cusack and harrison ford oh love harrison ford uh love joan cusack i was convinced when i was in seventh grade that i was going to grow up and marry john cusack <laughs> i was convinced of it well, that would be fun because then you'd be like joan cusack's sister which right She's I think awesome. she is actually one of the most underrated actresses. I love her. She's so, so, she's so funny, so talented, able mm -hmm. to, it, oh gosh, she's just, her in Gross Point Blank makes Gross Point Blank for me. So hysterical. Oh, her in The Addams Family? Yeah. So well that's the thing is she can play like a crazy creepy person like that yeah and then like my kids and i know this is probably a lot of you haven't seen it because it's for kids but lemony snicket series of unfortunate events yes he played a judge in there who looked after them for a bit and i just loved her in that like the fact that she can just play all these different parts yeah i just love her she is very talented i love that them as a family like they're always in things together. Like that's just adorable. Yes. Yep.
And I love Harrison Ford too, but I really can only see him as Indiana Jones. You, me and Ingrid were talking about that, how he is, mm -hmm. he's really good, but he is kind of, he's the same character. Yes. And I know he did Star Wars before Indiana Jones, but I still see him only as Indiana Jones. <laughs> but I mean, really, Han Solo is just space. Er, in the early Jones. version of Indiana Jones, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What character is Joan Cusack in Adam's Family? It wasn't the first one with, um, what's her name? Um, who played Morticia? Angelica Houston. Thank you. It wasn't the first <laughs> one with Angelica Houston. It was the second one with all of them, the original Adams Family, um, like the 90s ver versions um, with Raul Julia and, and Angelica Houston. It was the second one. And she played Uncle Fester's girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah. And they she like- Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. She went really cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So funny. She was very, she was a blonde bombshell, like a uh, very Marilyn Monroe. Didn't she play like their baby's nanny and then they, and then. Yes. Like, was that Esther and then like supposedly fell in love and then took him away. From yeah. The Cause she yeah. thought he was going to have all this money and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Now I got to go back and watch Gross Point Blank. I haven't seen that in a while. That has a phenomenal soundtrack. Mm. 80s soundtrack. Yep. I like Minnie Driver too. She's in that. I like Minnie Driver a lot. Yeah. Yep. I haven't seen her in anything in a long time. No, I think the last thing I really remember seeing her in was in Will and Grace. <laughs> yeah. Matthew said, I see it more as Han Solo, but I think that's because I saw Star Wars in theater in 1977. That could oh, be. yeah. Um, Tango said, that sounds like John Wayne. He did good movies, but he always was the same. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Is always a cowboy. I, I see nothing wrong with it. Ride that out. Nope. <laughs> Absolutely not. Yeah. There are people that that can't even do that. So. Yeah. Yep. And I loved his like here going back to Harrison Ford. I love his movies. Like I loved Air Force One, but it was basically like Indiana Jones saving the president. <laughs> yeah. Even when he played Jack Ryan and. Uh... Yeah. Patriot games and stuff still. Yep. Yep. Which is not a problem. I still love him, but yeah. But see, with all of those really great movies from way back then, I have a hard time trying to want to see new stuff. <laughs> Yeah, most of the new movies are just, mm. and a lot of them are like just the superhero stuff, which I have no interest in. Yeah. Like all the Marvel stuff. And I feel like they keep remaking the same, like Spider-Man's been made like 5,000 times. Yeah. <laughs> Not wrong there. And if you like that kind of stuff, that's great, but I'm just not into it. So I'm like... Can we come up with some new stuff? <laughs> and again, like everybody talks about all the new Star Wars stuff, but I never got into the new Star Wars stuff. Yeah. And again, they're making like 5,000 of those. I'm like, okay. Need some new material. There really is like a seven movie rotation that the kids know. I'm I'm gonna be watching on one of them. Oh, Blade right. Runner. 
that was a good so movie. So what are your movies then? You keep saying you have these certain movies. Which what are, what are your movies? They're all bad. You don't want to know. They're all bad movies. They're, <laughs> they're, they're like very camp. Like I love The Fifth Element with Bruce Willis. Okay. Not a good movie. Not not really like, you know, that's not really a a, a make a thinker at, in any way, shape or form. <laughs> Love it so much. Speaking of Sean Connery, a league of uh, uh, extraordinary gentlemen. Extraordinary gentlemen. Love that movie. I, if it is on, I cannot turn the channel if that movie is on. I have to. I will watch it from whatever point I catch it through to the end. Yep. Every single time. I'm yep. really mad that they didn't make the, the second one like they were going to because I he was know. gonna come back. Quartermain was going to come back. Uh, so that. I will watch Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit trilogies over and over and over and over and over again. Mm-hmm. Cannot not watch those. Uh, Twister. Okay. Don't know why. Just, I, if that is on, I will watch it. <laughs> Van Helsing. That's Hugh Jackman. Woo! Sexy gotcha. man. And Kate Beckinsale. She's so gorgeous. I love any, I love any strong brunette like lead woman. I'm down for. Um, nice. So, <laughs> Kate Beckinsale, it's fantastic. Yeah, Harrison Ford was an American graffiti. That's right. Um, oh, I'm sure there are other really ridiculous movies. Uh, let's see. Oh. Um, oh, Heath Ledger. Oh my gosh, what is it called? Not Fifth Night or uh, A Night's Tale. A I don't Night's think I've ever Tale. seen that one. Oh my gosh, it has modern music in it. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, okay, not so modern. It's got like We Will Rock You <laughs> and oh, Sting. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, but it's it's really good. It has... Um, Oh, Firefly, that Serenity. I'll watch that movie over and over again, too. Uh, but it has the guy from from Firefly, uh, Watt from Fly Firefly. It has uh, Jennifer Conley's husband. What is his name? Paul Bellamy? Paul Bettany? Paul Bettany? Something like British that, yeah. yeah. I will, that is also, wherever it is, I don't care if it's the that the Two minutes from the ending, I will watch that that movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. I'll have to watch that one. I like that one has good humor in it. It's goofy. I love Heath Ledger. Mm. He was also kind of the same character in all the things he did, but it's all right. He was nice to look at while he was doing it. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay. One of mine is I like a lot of the same stuff you do. Like I love the Lord of the Rings. I could watch those over and over and over again. But one of my like stupid goofy ones is I love the movie The Holiday. Oh, really? Yeah. Have you seen that one? Bits and pieces. I haven't watched it all the way through. Okay. But I've like, seen it when it's been on. Yeah. I really love, and I think I really love it because I like Kate Winslet, but I really love Jack Black in that movie. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's so playing, serious in that one. Yeah. He's he's still a little on the funny side, but he's playing a more serious character, which you don't, most of the, his stuff is funny. So. Yeah. I just really like that movie, mainly for him. <laughs> he's like the the love interest, right? Like. Yeah, for her, for Kate Winslet. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Cause they um they house swap, right? Yeah. That's right. Her and Cameron Diaz character, like they house swap at Christmas time. Yeah. And she falls in love with Jude Law's character and um Kate Winslet falls in love with the Jack Black character. <clears throat> but it's just it was different to see him in a like he's still kind of funny, but it's see different to see him in a more serious role. So I really yeah. like that. Yeah.
That's cool. Matthew said the holiday is a great movie. Yeah, it's fun. Lord of the Rings movies are great. The holiday was good too. Yeah. All right. I need to, I'm one of these days, Sarah loves Lord of the Rings as well. We need to sit down and do like a Hobbit and then Lord of the Rings like marathon, like all in order. Yes. I still find it fascinating that they made the Hobbit, which the book is about this thin <laughs> into right? three movies and Lord of the Rings into three movies and there was three books. So, <laughs> and they were, they were much bigger than the Hobbit. They were yeah. much bigger books. Yeah. So <laughs> I always find that funny. They almost could have made each of the books into three movies themselves. Yeah. But I get it. People would probably be like, okay, this is too much. <laughs> So interesting, well, I mean, interesting to me, just other people find this crazy. I have, so I've never watched the extended versions of the Lord of the Rings. Oh, really? Um, because I love them so much the way they are. I don't want anything to ruin <laughs> what I've already fallen in love with. <laughs> okay, but... I don't think it would because it's just like extra scenes that when you see them, I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot that part was in the book. If you've read the books. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've, I've read all of the books. Every single Tolkien okay. book I've read. Yeah. So I think like, can I tell you one of them? You won't be mad? Yeah, no. No, I mean, okay. people, yeah, people have definitely told me about them. So. Oh, yeah. okay. So like the one part where at the end where they have the battle in Helm's Deep mm -hmm. and the ones that got away, like the trees all lined up and like killed them all for the That's trees. For the yeah. Yeah. They show that in the extended version. Mm. And I was like, That's cool because they didn't show it in the regular movie. So you didn't really know what happened to all the extra bad guys. Yeah. Do they show this? I, I never asked anybody. Do they show what happens to uh, Warm Tongue and Sauron when they go into the uh, Shire? I don't remember, to be honest. But they do show more of like, um... gosh, my brain is not working. The girl that liked Aragorn. The blonde. Oh, Eowyn? Eowyn and... Faramir. Faramir. They show them, like, in the extended version, like, getting together, like, at the hospital where the, that's where they met. Yeah. Oh, they do. Okay. The House of Healing. Yeah. They show a little bit of it, and, like, they show them sort of together, like, holding hands or whatever, which you don't see mm -mm. It, in the just regular that one. Room. Yeah. Just them yeah. at the coronation is all you see. Right. Which, if you've read the books, you know at that point they're together, but it's not really, you're not really sure if you haven't. Yeah. Yeah. So it shows them. So there's little, little things like that that I think actually add to it. So they get, did a good job with Lord of the Rings. I was scared to see the movie because I love the book so much. Yeah, I think they did a mm -hmm. really good job. I mean, they had, obviously, time constraints. Right. So they had to leave out some stuff, but... I feel like for what they did, they did a really good job. Yeah. I mean, for as bad as some other movies have been to the book, they, they held really true to being able to get it on screen yeah so this is like an old um an older movie now well not old old but older movie um there was a movie called where the heart is with natalie portman when she was young oh yeah, yeah. Was, yeah i read that book yeah, yeah yeah yes it was based on the book and i read the book first and i really like natalie portman as an actress so i saw the movie and i was disappointed because they didn't they didn't follow the book. It it wasn't as true to the book. Yeah. Yeah. So I like when they're, I know they can't get it because of cinematic stuff always exactly like the book, but 
I like it when they try to try to stay true to it as possible. And I feel like Lord of the Rings really did that. Yeah. Okay. Now to try to put these together and make this all work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the put them together part that's gut wrenching. So I have two of my arts. Now this isn't this week's block. This is last week's because I didn't finish it, and I was telling Shannon that I don't want to start another one until I finish this one because I feel like then I'm getting behind. So, yep, that's where I'm at. All right, so I've put my J to the C. Is that so? J to C. Yes. Oh, pretty. I love that orange, and it's making the other things really, really look nice too. I did some like fussy cutting of. So this mm -hmm. is the fat, uh, the yeah, fat quarter of the uh, African. Prints and it has mm -hmm. some really cool colors and I just oh. wanted this this like peachy brownish yeah so like fussy cut that little section out nice it is so pretty and I'm going to use red for the the next arc Ooh. from the same you were doing these with those African prints really really make me want to get some and do something with them I, there was a lot of, there were a lot of shops. So there was a lot of African prints because there were a lot of shops with African prints at QuiltCon. Yeah, I was surprised to see how many there were. Yep. Yeah. It was neat. Like if, if it's having a renaissance or something, but yeah. I like to like, um, I'm kind of brand loyal some a lot of times and I, I, want to get it from tea quilts because I know I can trust her <laughs> yeah yeah for sure but I've always been a little scared of the different prints and colors but now like watching you use them I'm like wow you really can cut them up and you don't have to be afraid they look great yeah so I am now less scared to get some which is yay because cool. I really want yeah. I really want some there's a quilt show coming up in Cleveland, the Sewing and Quilting Expo that comes every year. And it used to be, it was in Cleveland and then went down to Akron, which is a little further away from here. And it's back in Cleveland this year. So I'll probably go and they usually have a booth of African boutiques. So I'm definitely going to put that on my radar to check out. Yeah. It's the week after the retreat. So. Oh, there you go. Yeah. It's going to be fun. Um, Melissa said, I wanted to get some African prints at QuiltCon. Definitely could have. There were some there. I'm looking for a pink. Thank you. Sorry, this was, looks good. I was I was talking to Stephanie last night uh, for Houston for Quilt Market. Uh, I jumped on the opportunity. I was talking about it with my son, and if everybody remembers, or if you didn't know, that October twenty twenty three, I took a road trip with Evan to. Oh, oh, there's a dog in the commercial. Lilu is very oh. unfazed. <laughs> Lilu. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Go lay down, you goof. Uh, took a road trip to Oklahoma City with Evan for um, boot camp to be a certified legit kits trainer, uh, instructor. Um, and he goes, oh, you're, it, this is in October. Because he kind of barely listens sometimes. I mean, he's, he's a male. So, you know. Um, <laughs> oh, it's, it's in October. And I was like, yeah, this is October. And he goes, well, Let's road trip. Let's make it like a yearly thing. And I was like, you, 
You want to go with me again? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds good. Because he, he was like, well, it can't be that much further than Oklahoma City, right? And it's actually the same amount, like same 20 hours. So um, so he he like had it all planned out. He wants to go to the University of Alabama. He wants to go to New Orleans and then to Houston. And I was like, oh, I feel so special. My 23-year-old yeah. son wants to spend that much time with me. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm so excited. That'll be fun. Just make sure you get some stuff and get some beignets when you're in New Orleans. Absolutely. Oh, oh my God. Con. Yeah. That'll be fun. There's a couple places that I want to try down there. Yeah. Isn't that one? I can't remember which celebrity chef it is that has like a big restaurant down there. Uh, I think a couple of them do, but it was definitely Emeril Lagasse who Emeril Lagasse. Started, that's who I was thinking of. Yeah, yeah, started the love affair with with New Orleans. Yeah, yeah, that's who I was thinking of exactly. I was like, I can see his face. I just can't think of his name. Let's just hear, bam! <laughs> yes, <laughs> so cute. Yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah. And then he was super cute. He was like, and then we get there, you go do whatever you want to do. We'll stay out of your hair because we're going to uh, have his girlfriend come too so that he doesn't have to sit in a hotel room. <laughs> By himself, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of stuff in the Houston area to do uh -huh. and they can go down to um, Galveston for a day. Mm -hmm. That's over by the ocean. It's only about a half hour out of Houston. Um, and there's also NASA down there. There's all kinds of stuff to do. Yeah. Of course, I don't know if a 23 year old's gonna be interested in NASA, but um, I'm yeah, not, I'm. He's never really been like in love with astronauts or anything like that. That's never been his yeah. thing. But um, doing Galveston would probably be cool because that's I don't. I don't know if he remembers that we have actually been on the Gulf side of Florida. So he's, you know, he's actually swum in the Gulf of Mexico. I don't know if he, if he remembers that. Yeah. Well, that's fun. So that would be definitely something fun for them to do. Well, and they have um, something called pleasure pier down there in Galveston. Oh. And there's like rides and stuff on this big pier that like juts out into the ocean. So oh, they would definitely enjoy that yeah yeah it's a lot of fun so and like i said it's not that far to houston so they could go down there and it's off season really so it won't be super expensive like it is you know yeah during the summer yeah they're definitely gonna like plan like once they drop me off they're they're planning the rest of their vacation part of it nice because i was like i will have no time for you <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I, will, I will be in a in a state of fabric dust like loopiness <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna meet all these people designers yes i'm so excited killing people to get fabric at sample spree <laughs> i'm also very excited about that <laughs> it's the hunger games i'm telling you <sighs> Cannot wait. You better hope the odds are in your favor. I'll do uh I'll do the basketball drills I used to do with the the swinging of the arms yeah. <laughs> to get the rebound. <laughs> Hi Sally. Hello all. Are you having a good evening? Yes. Oh, nice. Ooh, a new, larger location. That's very cool. That's fun. Yeah. That means more product to look at. Yay. Good, right. Exactly. All right. The foundation K for Bandicoot. I had to tape that together. So I've got that taped up. Now we're ready to go with that. Nice. I am very precariously sewing these crocodile this crocodile one together to get those like i'm gonna call them teeth <laughs> yep 
Yeah. Lined same. up. Yeah. Yeah. Luckily, they're nesting really well, so. I think this is the slowest I've ever sewn, Shannon. <laughs> 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 Write this one down. <laughs> Hello again, Brock. So you have fairs by you. Do you have state fairs or county fairs or both? Both. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're going to put stuff in fairs this year? I'm definitely doing Frederick. Um, I It's on my to-do list to see what Howard and Montgomery County, uh, if they let other county folk enter theirs. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not, I'm not sure the rules. So, uh, I'll see about that. I don't know about the state fair one. Possibly. I just had never really thought about it. Yeah. Um, only because I wasn't really ever impressed with our state fair. <laughs> oh, so. okay. Gotcha. <laughs> Where would so, your state fair be held? Like in Baltimore or? No, uh, let me see, where is the, Lutherville, Timonium, which is, yeah, um, oh, it's at the racetrack, uh, is, Mm, north of Baltimore, not quite to the Pennsylvania line. Mm -hmm. um, but much further north than we were for the, the airport. Um, oh, north okay. of Towson, north, yeah, it's it's north. Gotcha. Um, which is not, I mean, it's an hour ride. It's not that bad, but yeah, just never really considered it. Though, I mean, you know, I can dominate Maryland from county to county to to the state. <laughs> right? <laughs> FPP genius. <laughs> oh, speaking of competitions, my aunt won second place in the farm park competition over here. For her Did you find out about you? Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Too much. She she doesn't like my quilt because it's too much grunge. That's okay. Is that what she said? <laughs> no, too cutesy is what she said. Oh, my word. I don't care. Now it's a game. I think it's funny. It now. is so a game. <laughs> that woman is smoking something. All the quilts that won were very traditional. Very traditional. Um, most of them, Annie's wasn't, but most of them were like civil war reproductions. Okay. So until they have like a modern category, I just don't think it's They're just fun for me now. Now it's just fun for me to like put stuff in that, like she hates. So <laughs> that woman cuckoo for cocoa puffs is what it is. No big deal. When Keith dropped it off, he said that all the ladies there that took it in which aren't the judges were like this is so cool but it is what it is no big deal yeah like i said now for me it's a game <laughs> i mean i'll be offended if you don't continue to enter things every year yeah i think next year i might put in rock candy because it's like bright and she hates bright colors so <laughs> just all the things to offend her i am here for it i am totally down <laughs> Yep. Oh my gosh, that would be. He's fantastic. like, well, just wait until she's gone because she's a, a older lady. So he's like, eventually she can't be the judge there anymore. <laughs> like, yeah, I said no. I think it's fun now. Now it's fun. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Because that comment from last year, it's <laughs> excessive amounts of grunge. Yeah. That, I mean, that's just the most ridiculous so like subjective most biased comment ever 
So well, yeah. it didn't win anything. So she had to ding me for something, right? Because actually every other comment on the card was really good. Like she put like perfect piecing and good use of um like the pentagraph I picked for like the quilting. She's like match the quilt style and like I did a flange binding on that one. She liked the binding, which she doesn't usually like machined binding, but because it was a flange. And so yeah. there was nothing else for her to like pick apart. And it was actually pulled because it'll say on the top whether it was held for ribbon contention yes. or not. And it was held. So she had to find something to put on there like, oh, this is why you didn't <laughs> excessive user bumper. <laughs> so so now, like I said, it's just it's just a game now. Now it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What was going coastal pulled for? I don't know. I haven't got my that... sheet yet. I won't know. Oh, that's right. right. That was on the sheet. Yeah. yeah. So here's the crocodile teepees. Yay, look at them. They came out. I was like really nervous I wasn't going to get those to match up, but yep. Nicely done. And I had the other pieces, parts of this ready to go. So now I just have to sew it all together. But yeah, she won, which I'm really excited about. Yeah, that's awesome. So, yeah. And we she get to go see all the quilts on the 21st. So I'm excited to see the quilts and hopefully I can get some video. Oh yeah, definitely to share with us. Of the show, great. yeah. Because it's usually a really good show. There's usually about 250 quilts or so and some amazing work for sure. But very, you'll see a lot of very traditional quilts. Yeah. <laughs> that woman it's okay i like that it's like a game now that makes sense. oh it's totally a game now and i told my aunt that when i entered it i was like um i asked her i actually asked her i said which one do you think i should enter and i said i was thinking about going coastal i said but with last year's comments and she's like yeah but she goes there's not gonna be anything like going coastal it'll be different yeah but it was too different for her i guess yeah <laughs> But that's okay. It, it's not a big deal. You know, it'll just be fun to see it hanging there and see all the other quilts too. But I'm glad yeah. my aunt won. So, oh gosh, yeah. She does amazing work. So, she does. Yeah. Her stuff's great. Yeah. And her friend, Sandy, you remember Sandy? Yeah. She's coming back to the retreat this year and she got an honorable mention on her quilt. So, that's great. I'm excited to see hers too. But she always does like a really super huge large quilt. Um, like the one year she entered, she had like an oversized king quilt. I think it was humongous. Really? Yeah. But she's won a few times. So yeah, I'm excited to see hers too. Last year, there was a legit kit one there. I think it was... Really? I'm going to say the wrong one. And I think it was either like a tiger or a lion or something. Yeah. Um, And it won the People's Choice Award. Because there's like a People's Choice Award that they announced towards the end of the show after everybody's voted. And it didn't win a, in the regular ribbon category, but it got the People's Choice because it was really cool. I'm surprised that, that well I'm not surprised you got people's choice if that's you know because it was different you know it wasn't Difference. there wasn't anything else like yep. it yeah and it was not it was really well done they had custom quilting on it it was really pretty that's nice yeah so it'll be interesting to see if there's any more this year now that the legit kids has kind of caught on a bit yeah yeah i'm interested to like what because legit kids just did a thing with um joanne's like what what is that gonna mean oh yeah that's right right hmm. i don't know they're just selling are they selling the whole kit or just the patterns just the patterns oh okay oh wait no hold on now no they no they're doing the whole kit because they are selling the entire like legit kits is cutting the fabric mm -hmm. and the pad and doing the patterns for Joanne's. Oh, okay, gotcha. Wow. Yeah. 
So does legit kids like fulfill the order for them? Like if they get an order for them? I would get that, that them to be how they in. do it. Right. Hmm. That, yeah. that would, cause that's the only way that I can. Well, unless they just give them like, I don't know how many stores there they have to deal with, or if it's just online. Yeah. It's a good question. I was there just in October. I should have thought of me asking, but <laughs> I failed. so delmarie is talking about um there's a lot of them talking about cold shops that are like near each other and then delmarie started talking about um welsh's grape juice and she said she loves it but she can only have it when her blood sugar is low and i was like i have not thought about that grape juice in a really long time but it was really good uh, Sally said, I live in Erie, PA. My local quilt shop is 20 minutes from me. It's called Concord Quilt Shop. Oh, oh that's where the Welsh's started from. She has a Welsh's plant. Oh, the it. Concord bit. Yep. Ah, makes sense. Susan said, I should most definitely be at my sewing machine working on Summer Moon or Tilda's Daydreamer. Oh, both sound amazing. Puppy not oh. happy. <laughs> Oh, dogs are going crazy. The child is back. Oh, uh, gotcha. Sally, is the um, Concord Quilt Shop, is that the one that just moved that's big? Um, Shelly Stewart said, Joanne's is selling legit kits online and the price is way more expensive. It is. Yes. Of course, right as I, I unmute, the dog starts jumping around again. So I apologize. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> it, it is a lot more expensive, but huh. I was really concerned about that deal because, um, like I wasn't sure what they were going to be able to, like what Joanne's was going to be able to do since there's mm -hmm. such a mega huge store, if they were going to undercut every other store oh i was really worried about what that was gonna look like so yeah but it doesn't sound like they are mm -mm. i wonder why they're doing that then because if they can't if they don't discount them oh you're yeah. muted yeah. no oh there we go now we can hear you couldn't hear you oh <laughs> Oh, I was just shaking my head at first, just saying, oh, I don't understand business. I, I don't know what these crazy business people are doing. I don't, it doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> yeah. Cause if they can't discount them to like, even the same price as what legit kids is selling them, then how are they going to make any money? Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. Math Geek said, I wish I could be sewing instead of event planning, aka cat herding at work right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Yep. Um, Sally said, yes, that's the quilt shop that's larger. They're going to have room for classes and retreats now. Oh, how fun. Oh, that is nice. Sally, how far is it from Erie? Because at some point we'll be over at Erie again and we'll have to check out that quilt shop.
Wow. Joanne's is doing the same with Robert Kaufman pre-cut, said Delmarie. She said, I believe the jelly roll is $56. Oh. Wow. What? That doesn't even make sense. No. Unless they're doing that price so they can like offer coupons. I don't know. Oh, uh, the coupon thing. Yeah. Didn't think about that. But then a lot of times their coupons will like kind of exclude that kind of stuff, you know? So I don't know. That seems really high. Yeah. Please come to Erie. I'll take you there. <laughs> Aw. I would love to. Oh, we were thinking about, we haven't, yeah. Well, we used to go over to Erie like every other summer or so um, before the pandemic and take the kids to Presque Isle over there, Sally. And now I can't think of the name of the amusement park right there. The one that you can just pay for the rides instead of having to pay admission. Oh, my gosh. What is that? Nobles? Yeah. Huh? Nobles? I don't know. I don't remember what it's called, but I'm sure Sally will tell us. But uh, so Keith and I were talking about maybe trying to do that this summer. Fun. It's been a while. And y'all have a Wegman, so, you know, there's that too. Because <laughs> <laughs> we don't have Wegmans in Ohio. Oh, I messed that up. I knew I was going to mess that up. I think I need to stop sewing this for tonight because I'm just not doing a good job. <laughs> is it is it vexing you? Yeah, that's... Oh, yes. I'm getting like... um, I don't know. My brain's not working or something. I'm getting pleats. <laughs> Oh, pleats. I hate when that happens. When I'm sewing the circles together or the half yeah. circles. <sighs> well, it is 7.40. If you want to rather than struggle and fight <laughs> if you want to <laughs> run down what what the rest of your week is going to look like oh yeah um, and then i'll do the same and we can call it an evening okay yeah maybe for anybody who wasn't here at the beginning yeah oh so tomorrow is the so day with steven that we have every week um Waldemere, thank you, Sally. I knew that. I couldn't remember. Waldemere Park, yeah. Um, it's a nice little park because, like, we have Cedar Point here in Ohio, but whether whether you're riding rides or you're just walking around with your kids, it's still it's all one price and it's expensive. And for a family of six, we won't pay for it because we yeah. have little kids who don't ride rides, and we uh, Keith and I certainly don't ride rides anymore. So, um, yeah. Hi, Laura Lynn. So, hi, Laura Lynn. So it's silly for us to pay that admission, but Waldemere, you can just walk in the gate and then you pay for the rides. Like you get a pass right. for the rides. So it's great for the kids, the older kids who like to ride rides. So um, yeah. So Sally, if we do that this summer, I will let you know. That'll be fun. Anyway, on to what we're what's going on this week. So we have the show day with Steven tomorrow. And um that is a free so day. Just come on over. Uh, the Zoom link I don't have here. I have it in my night, but I really need to have it handy. But if you go to any of Stevens' um, uh, Bland Designs in the Idiot Culture, if you go to any of his videos, he always has the Zoom link in his videos. And it starts at 9 a.m. Eastern time, goes to 4 p.m. Eastern time. But you can come anytime during that time. You don't have to stay the whole day. 
but it's just a fun day to sew together and get a bunch of stuff done. We all sit, work really hard that day. And there's times where if you come in, we might not even be talking. We'll just be working. And then all of a sudden, like people will have projects done and then we talk for a while and then we go back to not talking again. Um, but it's just a really fun day to get a lot of stuff done. So that's tomorrow. And then this Saturday, um, uh, live at five, my normal time, we're going to be making these Easter egg mug rugs. So, so cute. Really excited about that. I will have the fabric requirements and what you need and the template for the egg um, up on my blog on stephanies-stitches.com tomorrow. Um, I will have all that up for you guys. And I'll link it under Saturday's video. So if you find Saturday's video and you want to do these with me, it's already scheduled on my YouTube. All you have to do is click on that link. So you don't have to go to my website or anything like that. Just um, click on that link and it'll take you to my website. So that will be, that'll be fun. And these are quick. I did these really, really fast. I think the two of them I did in 10 minutes. Um, and I'll have to get out my other sewing machine because I zigzagged the edges. If you want to turn them, you can, but I made it really easy on myself and it's just interfacing some scrap fabric. And I just did really loose quilting on them. Like this one I just did cross hatch. I don't know if you guys can see that a little bit. And this one I just did like I followed the lines of the fabric. So stitch in the ditch. They were really easy. They're I'm gonna make more so I have enough for the table for my whole family for Easter. Cute. Um so that's this Saturday. And then Sunday I'm gonna be joining Shannon. So I will let her tell you what she's doing on Sunday. Yes. So the Easter eggs are super adorable. I will miss out on getting to do that because I'll be stuffing my face full of a seafood tower and uh, <laughs> some really good steak from the Voltaggio Ooh. Brothers Steakhouse. Nice. <laughs> um, but uh, Sunday we start on Stephanie's uh, new one of the newest two of the new one of the two newest patterns. There we go. Get it out, Shannon. <laughs> Woohoo! Uh, rock candy. So we'll be on my channel Sunday morning, 11 a.m. Uh, Eastern time. We'll be working on rock candy. So if you are interested in joining, uh, you do have to have the pattern. I will not be sharing any of the uh, sizes for what we're cutting the fabrics to or anything like that. So you'll want to want to pick that pattern up from Stephanie's Etsy shop. Uh, we will be starting on the the colorful nine patches of, of rock candy. And that will be on Monday. So or Sunday rather. So you're going to want to have at least, if not everything for the pattern, starched iron cut, at least the nine patches for this coming up Sunday, the following Sunday at the same time, we will work on the quarter square triangles. And then the Sunday after that, we'll work on putting them all together for the entire quilt top. So nice. that's the goal over the next several Sundays, which is exciting. Um, I like like that, you know, I have a specific project that we're, we'll be working on together. Uh, and if you would like to, when we're done with the quilt top, if you want to send me, email me your pictures, or if you want to put it in the Together We Sew Facebook page, and what if you put it there and you're okay with me adding it to, I would like to do another like uh, collage of all of the finished quilt tops like we did for the two color quilt challenge. Yeah. Which I'll, we will also want to do for the New York beauty too. So have that in mind. Um, yeah. So that's, that's the next few coming up Sundays, which I'm very excited about. Very cool. Awesome. Hi, Catherine. So lots of fun stuff coming up in the next few weeks. I know. We've got um, busy marches. <laughs> Bonita it's... said, I watched several of your Key City improv videos. Hilarious. They are funny. <laughs> thank if you. guys so haven't much. seen those, you need to check them out. Oh so. my gosh. Thank you. I I ended up falling asleep before I even got the video edited from Saturday night. So I, I, I've got to get on that to get that one up. It was yes, a good show. We want to see it. <laughs> thank you so much i love that that you watch that <laughs> and lord lynn thank you she said those eggs are love those eggs i can't wait to make some more i just kind of did it on a whim because i was like 
what can I do that's fun and cute for Easter and best? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and also easy, like kind of mindless. You don't like, it's not like really hurting your brain to figure that out. Right. Right. And I had, these are actually scraps left over from rock candy that I had. And I was like, mm. and rather than just pitching them, cause you goes, no, not scrappy. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I was like, well, I can make something out of them and threw that together. So that'll be fun. I love that. So I'm Ooh, using awesome. my scraps, y'all. I not only am stitching with like uh, embroidery thread and needle because I'm doing cross stitch, but I'm using my scraps. I'm breaking out of my norm, guys. It's like a whole <laughs> new woman. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, we would be remiss not to say, please head over to Together We Sew Retreats. Uh, if you would be interested in signing up for our second virtual retreat with Stephanie and I, the Beach Bum Retreat, yes. uh, the, that yes. registration is open. Very yes. excited about that. That registration is open for the virtual retreat, but also there's still two spots left at the Pennsylvania retreat in September, yes. um, which is going to be a ton of fun. And Shannon is also, we're both teaching at that one as well. So um, yes. hopefully you'll join us. So that. love to have you. Mm -hmm. That's also at Together We Sew Retreats, which I put that in the chat. So if anybody's interested. Yep. That, that that retreat, it's always so much fun. Yes. A great group of folks. So if you've never been, don't feel like, like it's going to be weird being the new person. Can't happen can't no. happen no you're, the ladies at that one are super nice and the location is beautiful yeah it's a really big house that we all stay in together and sew in and it's just a lot of fun and very peaceful if you need a getaway yeah i love that it's like you're in the country in one second and then the next minute you're like in the city yeah but you can't like it feels like you're in the country because it's just it's so peaceful yep <laughs> all right i wanted to have at least some of these together to show you what what the next ring is going to look like or arc so i've got some some oh, nice. marching uh elephants and giraffes there's some birds and a crocodile too but i haven't and i haven't gotten to the crocodile to show on it yet but yeah a camp is that a camel? I was gonna say I thought it was a camel when you held it up, <laughs> and then you said elephant, this, and I'm like, oh, I guess I must not be seeing things right. This guy's definitely a giraffe. That's for sure an elephant. Yeah, that dude is a camel. What is a That's camel, camel. in there? <laughs> All right. Well, there we go. There's a camel. Nice. <laughs> I think there's a lion and a crocodile. So we'll we'll get to those. <laughs> Fun. I love your fabric. Love it. And then these are my pieces. I need to put them all together yet. Oh, so and pretty. then here's the, the bottom piece, which is this is the one that I like got a little funky and I had to rip out a little bit. So I'm fixing that, <laughs> but it'll all go together like this. So that'll make my next oops. My next one. Yeah. There you go. Beautiful. Yay. So gorgeous. Love this project so much. Thank you, Shannon, for asking me to do this and kicking it's me out fun. of my comfort zone. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. And I, it's really been fun seeing everybody's choices as they share it in, in, on the Facebook page too and in Instagram. Yeah. So keep yeah. keep that up, definitely, because we love, love, love seeing what you guys are working on for yeah, sure. definitely. Yep. And Facebook is not hacked. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're still That's having right. issues. Just wait, reload. <laughs> Don't yeah, be scared like I was. I panicked thinking I was hacked. So <laughs> you might want to delete the app if it's on your phone and reload it. Uh, yeah. But they they they've said that they're getting if they're not already a hundred back up to hundred percent, super close. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you all. All right. Well, I think that wraps it up for the evening. Another yeah. successful New York beauty. So thank you all so much for being here. Um, my next will be Thursday morning for my vlog podcast week in review, which will be fun. 
Uh, I'm going to share some of the fun stuff we got into this weekend, this past weekend. Uh, and then uh, be sure to join Stephanie tomorrow with Stephen and Stephanie. Uh, if you can, I might sneak in at lunchtime. You never know. Um, oh, yay. <laughs> and then Saturday for the, the Easter egg mug rugs, which are so cute and rock candy on Sunday. Yes. And Laura Lynn's here in the chat. Don't forget to go to her show on, on Saturday as well. Yes. I love her shows because she's just like the sweetest, happiest person. And if you're in a bad mood, you just go there and you're instantly better. <laughs> <laughs> and she makes me want to try cross stitch <laughs> because that's. <laughs> I have not cross stitch in years and I've been watching her. She knows I have, because I've been popping into her cross stitch shows. Cause she does it once a week on her channel. Yeah. She inspired me to cross stitch again and I'm loving it. Yep. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I sit in bed at night, stitch just a few stitches. I'm not anywhere near as fast as her. It's taking me forever, but I'm loving it. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so fun. Yep. All right, everybody. Well, thank you all so much. We will talk to you and see you all again very soon. And uh, let's see. It is Tuesday. So have a great rest of your week. <laughs> yep. See you Thanks tomorrow. Everyone. Okay, welcome <laughs> <laughs>